Friends, this is Launch Log T minus five, and today we're going to talk about what happened over the past twenty four hours. Basically, I got uh, my first like sort of real big break in, in terms of social media mentions or whatever. Uh, Danny Bob tweeted about the book. Um, he's enjoying it so far. He's actually reading it, which like you cannot pay for. Um, and I just want to talk about share a little bit about like what the impact is. Uh, you know, uh, like it or not, the, uh, influencers exist and and uh they they help to they do help to get attention and, and help build excitement ahead of a launch um so he tweeted out i'm genuinely reading through the book and he's genuinely impressed blah 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 uh lots of useful context for someone coming in the industry that's honestly all i need um he's he's a good friend good mentor um and uh he means it so that's uh, just amazing uh, we saw this uh at you know my just kicking off at the previous launch log but uh, I just want to talk to you a little bit about the impact. Uh, he's still reading it. Um, he, this is a screenshot from the book, and uh, people are responding it, uh, responding to it, which um, doesn't really mean. I mean, they they know about the book, but uh, it's fine. It means that uh, this resonates with people. Okay, so uh, I just want to talk about the impact on uh, you know numbers, just for people going through the same same journey. Uh, the book Twitter gained about 900 followers. Uh, this is kind of what it looks like, just a bunch of people, and then Twitter just cuts it off for you, hopefully. Um, and yeah, this is where we are at in terms of uh, the book's Twitter. So we're at 1,400. And uh, everything's up, obviously. obviously. I started this account in April. Um, and I don't, don't think it's showing up here yet. So the mention hasn't shown, uh, but it, it, it will. And uh, and I guess that's about it. Um, in in April, I had two hundred seventy three, which is not bad. Um, but that mostly came from me tuning through my own personal account and giving some ads here, giving some ads here, and uh, and ads here, <laughs> uh, and David being a nice guy following me as well. Okay, so uh, and then personal account uh, added about four hundred followers uh, in one day, which is still big for me um that's probably the biggest this is probably the biggest month I've, I've ever had um and there's nothing much to say here i mean this blog post did pretty well uh few, from a few days ago uh, but nothing related to the book uh and then i guess the the real sort of monetary impact is that uh, people started buying a pre-sale anyway um so like there's no discount but they they just you know based on recommendation they bought it um, so we're we're at forty nine sales the last I checked, um, and and it looks like this in terms of like the the relative profile. Like when I when I launched, there's some people who bought sight unseen, just an empty PDF, and then now that I've written the book, uh, and I'm starting to get reviews, uh, it, it's spiking back up again. So my original goal was uh, eight thousand, um, and given that I sold one thousand uh, off screen uh, off of Gumroad. Uh, that means I'm at 7,300, which means I'm 700 away from the original goal. But also the original goal was for a two-week writing period, um, not for two months. So um, my new goal is something in the neighborhood of 40,000, uh, which, I mean, hopefully I'll, I'll make. And uh, it's not really within my control, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, yeah, so that's the good news. And then um, I also had some pretty bad news. But well, I'll, I'll, end, I'll end this with that. Anyway, so um, based on the survey that I did uh, a couple of days ago, um, I realized that not everyone's going to read PDF. Uh, at least two thirds of the audience are going to read Mobi and EPUB. So I better improve the EPUB. So where we were at with the EPUB was here. Um, is the right so this is how the epub looked um some weird formatting from like some stuff i copy pasted basically basically pdf styling that sort of leaked into the epub for some reason uh because pdf the pdf styling has headers and then epub epubs don't uh, and then there was no spacing in between even though in the pdf i i do i do insist on spacing and no indentation so uh, let's just show it to you side by side um pdf do, 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 do. all right let's just show this so there's spacing in between the paragraphs and there's no annotation on on the uh 
uh, on each paragraph. Okay, so that's the that's where we were, and then I guess the quotes, and, and then the the, um, the auto-generated table of contents had this weird like dot, um, I guess list item at the first of every single subsection, and that was very weird. Um, and then the I wanted to improve the way that quotes look as well. Um, they're they're just kind of like indented like that. I was wondering if there was something better that I could do. So uh, basically dug around and found out that basically e um, EPUBs are uh, HTML wrapped up in a zip file. Um, and you can technically rename your EPUB to a zip like that and then unzip it. Uh, unfortunately, my version doesn't do that. Uh, so you have to use an online converter. And that online converter uh, gives you this index.html. So I'm serving it in the local host. Actually, let's just serve it right here. Um, and so you can actually see the contents of your EPUB in a, um, it, as a nice web page, like single page, um, which means that also you can figure out all the CSS that you want. So let's say uh, I want to get the CSS for this thing. Um, okay, well, so for example, p if i want to kill the text indent uh, i can f i can fix that for everyone and then uh if i want to look at the quotes where are the quotes where are the quotes where are the quotes so like that and then i could say like background color ccc something like that and padding 1m Looks a little bit better immediately, right? Padding one M. So um, EPUBs they actually don't really respect background color, so that this is just really for my my feeling better. But if I ever ship a web version, I, that will probably be something nice to pay attention to. Um, you can also add a little border, like one PX solid black, something like that. Um, I also discovered this uh, CSS file starter CSS uh, EPUB CSS starter kit where basically um, they've, you know, made it convertible. They made it compatible all the way back to IE6 and other platforms. So they've, they've um, also taken care of uh, Nook <laughs> and uh, other readers as well. So um, Kindle, Kobo, Nook. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's going to be it's going to be Kindle now. I don't think the other two are relevant anymore. Uh, anyway, so I, I just copied a bunch of these this CSS. So uh, where that belongs inside of soft cover is inside of the EPUB section and you can have a custom EPUB styling. So this is the default styling that they gave me. Um, it did have some weird uh, indentation right about, I don't know where it is. Maybe I deleted it. Uh, anyway, I, I, I just like, I took over, I wrote some custom CSS and then I copied over the sort of cross platform CSS uh, just in case any of these, you know, applied um, I just wanted to not repeat learnings from other people, so I'll just I'll just gonna copy those, and uh, and so the, let's look at the generated result. The generated result looks like this. I'll close this. Open that. Uh, nope, that's not it. And this one. Yeah. So so this one has nice spacing. It's got uh, the proper indentation, and then it's got. Uh, nice boxes around the quotes i don't know i think i think it just looks a little bit i, I like the separation um people might disagree and if they do i will hear back from them okay <clears throat> and what else all right so that's that was me taking care of epub formatting uh, i also wanted to start making changes making updates to uh, the PDF, right? So uh, when you generate the PDF version, so this is EPUB, right? And you generate the PDF version, uh, you get a bunch of warnings around uh, the uh, overfull HBox warnings. Uh, and these are just like when things don't really, don't quite fit within the margin. So let's actually see that in action. Um, and then let's look at the writing great technical documentation. Writing great technical documentation. 
so this you can if you can see this over here it actually ex exceeds by a little bit uh, so that's a concern and then for example so so it's so it's five points too wide which is actually like not a big deal right so you actually want to see look for something that's a little bit bigger like this this thing that's 18 points too wide so a list apart um list apart yeah here so here it's here's a little bit too wide and then you might want to make some make some changes to that so basically went through and look for uh anything that's uh, egregious um there have there were some that were way bigger uh, and basically um by default latex doesn't really do very well with um slash with slashes so let me see if i can find an example for you yeah market slash counterparty okay counterparty yeah so it exceeds there a little bit so uh, i probably want to break that up um and so if i go to counterparty go over here and then i'll have to do something right i i can uh i do have the option of um uh mandating a new line uh but i can also just break it up into a nice uh into into smaller words so that uh you can probably reflow a little bit better so basically just like over reviewing all the h boxes to to make sure that uh the they don't cut off i don't know what badness is i i've actually looked at this and i don't think it was too bad so i don't really care uh well let's look at it again i don't think i've looked at this particular one So it's probably a little bit spaced out a little bit more than normal, but nothing super noticeable. Um, wow, 103. Okay. Oh, yeah, this one. I, I've, I've already fixed this. So um, thing everyone uses, obviously, that's a giant string. So uh, I, I probably already fixed this language agnostic. There we go. Yeah, so so I broke it up with um with special sort of uh hyphens if so that everyone so that so that um so that latex can actually figure it out for me. Yeah, anyway, so that that was it. Really really mundane stuff, but um it's it's the final, you know, like trying to polish it just to make it better. Uh that's what I mean by type checking all the pages. I also had to process some edits. Uh Nat has been uh doing a great job uh with the edits coming in, so uh He's he's working on 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 editing the editing these things, um, and I we sort of go back and forth on like you know uh, your thoughts there. He 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 reviews his own edits, which is fantastic. Um, so you know he's like blah blah blah, and then I'll, I'll I'll say thank you or you know I agree with you, or you know it's just some discussion on things he wasn't sure about, and um, and just in general like he's been a very good collaborator to work with, and I'm um, happy to be paying him something for 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 his trouble, but. Uh, you know, he seems, he says he's enjoying it. So that's, that's really great. Uh, Cause <laughs> you know, like it's hard for me to edit my own stuff. There's a lot. Uh, I also did some admin with uh, answering people by email, nothing, nothing major. And then the main thing that I like wasted my time on yesterday, which is basically the past two days was um, trying to make my own site. And uh, I actually got a decent amount of the way there. So um, here is what I ended up with. Um, so let me just run the site and, uh, you'll see, you see what I did. So, uh, this is the landing page. Uh, you've seen this before, but I actually like mapped out a little bit more of the content. Uh, I will want to have an image here, have some quotes here, but then also, um, blah, blah, blah. And then, and then these sections with the, uh, with, with, with an idea of like how much content there is, uh, to cover. Um, so that this is actually st stuff I worked on. Um, I even have an announcement here with like a launch learn in public thing, uh, with, with like a launch code and all that, you know, uh, I worked out this, I think I worked on this yesterday, so nothing, nothing changed there, but, uh, yeah. So, and, and I made sure that it was, it was uh, sort of mobile friendly. So, um, you know, right down to, uh, the, the button switching sides. Uh, so it's easy to press. Uh, the, and the problem is that uh, this, you know, I took a lot, obviously I took a lot of inspiration from refactoring UI and um, I checked in with Adam from refactoring UI 
And he said it was not okay to be so uh, close to his uh, item. Uh, obviously, I could like take out a lot of things. My, my, my issue right now is that um, I have bootstrapped a lot of code, like all of this stuff. There's no way I could, I could figure out like uh, leading tight, um, BG gray. Like there's just like, if I took out a lot of these, um, it would just not look great. So one thing I'm one thing I'm worried one thing I'm thinking about is actually going back to Pudia, um, which means I w I just wasted the last two days, which is very very uh, hard to admit, because <sighs> like this looks fine, you know. Um, uh, yeah, it, it looks fine. So so you know that that this is me. I don't know. I, you know, look like I, I, I might change my mind again and then I look like an idiot. But as of right now, I'm leaning towards fuck it, just no code it, um, and seriously work on content because you know I, I spent the last two days coding and not really working on like is the package as good as it could be, um, and that's not a productive use of time. And uh, obviously, I don't want to piss Adam off. Um, so, what's the point of continuing down this path when really? it would just take a lot more work than I've already put in. Like I, I copied a bunch of stuff and I had to put in two days of work. So that's just not a good use of time. I should, I should just use something that's uh, already pre-made for this, even though it's not like exactly what I want, but uh, it's good enough, you know? Um, so I just want to make sure that it's, let's say uh, if I have testimonials, I can put in pictures. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you know, people like seeing faces, man. All right. They got photos. Okay. All right, I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, so so you know, I'm gonna eat some humble pie and say that I just wasted the last two days of my launch, out of out of the fourteen days. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, right down to like I spent some time with Ryan Block from Begin, just like working out domain issues. I don't know if this is propagated yet. Uh, cracking the coding career .com. Nope, it hasn't propagated yet. So. Uh, it's just doesn't really spark joy. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so so that's that's that. Um, I did I did a you know I did I did do some do a little bit of like um, air quotes marketing with like the tailwind stuff that I was working on. So I made a little video uh, on this, shared it on Twitter, um, got some you know some feedback, not not huge. Um, uh, but it also just sh just showed me working on the site, right? Um, and talking about the book site, but not really plugging the book in any way. Um, maybe this might like raise some awareness, but it's likely to be among people who already super know that I, I have a book coming. So I don't know. I just think it's nice to share knowledge. Um, I think it's uh, nice to keep people invested in my journey uh, like I am right now with, with, with this video. I don't have a plan beyond that. Um, and I'm about to throw all this work away. Um, so I think this like launch is really about really humbling in the sense that like you are your own boss, which is good and bad, right? Like you uh, have to make the decisions as you execute. And uh, there's this, there's this tension between working on the business and working in the business uh, because you're, you're the individual contributor as well. And um Right now, I need to be working on the business a lot more than I work in the business. So, yeah, I'm just, you know, I, 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 regret, I regret that. I had to get it out of my system, I guess. But uh, the, the, final, the, the thing that really did it for me was Adam saying, uh, don't copy. And um, that, I mean, that, you know, I, I probably was being uh, overly naive. Uh, I was probably being... I, I, probably, I probably should have thought of that in the first place and I didn't. Uh, and, uh, and now I'm a little bit paying the price. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's uncomfortable to admit. Okay. Um, so I mean the, the, uh, the, the other endorsements haven't really come in. So, so the other thing I need to do is, uh, start reminding people that, um, you know, that they can start endorsing <laughs> whatever, and uh, let to get the quotes in. So one way to do that is to publish a release candidate, right? Publish um, v1 rc1, v1.0.0 rc1. 
of cracking the coding career. And when, when I say that, like, this is a release candidate, uh, people can are reminded again because I, you know, I've emailed them, messaged them on Twitter and stuff like that. But, um, you know, it's really coming down to the wire now, four days to go. Uh, and I, I mean, that probably means I, I should probably uh, spend a little bit more time on this. Uh, maybe this, like, um, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean tomorrow, tomorrow, like tomorrow onwards, I have a bunch of like uh, podcasts and conference recordings um, that I need to go do. Uh, so it's so it's, so you no, know, you know, I, I'm really, I'm really like coming down to like not coding anymore. Like uh, I just have to do a site and then uh, just just keep going. So that's 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 where I, that's where I'm at. Um, so today, you know, I wanted to start off with good news and then um, and then like mundane stuff that I did and then the stuff that I'm really unsure about. Uh, which I guess is realistic when you're going through something like this. Mm. Yeah, I may not finish all, all everything I wanted to do. Um, the the most important one probably is Quincy. Um, I'll I'll try to get him in. Um, I know he's 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 a friend and he's he's um committed to writing his uh, his forward, which is uh, the the main thing that like is going to lend a lot of credit credibility to the book. So, um, I like that, I like that. Uh, so I, I hope to get to this tomorrow. So basically, I need to uh, put this all the way at the end uh, of the other stuff. Um, and uh, I really... So what's what's the most important thing for tomorrow? I think it's the engineering ladder stuff. I think it's uh, open source apps. And then um, uh, proof, read, book for uh, shitty chapters. And there are some shitty chapters I need to I need to go find where they are, and um, and figure that out. Like it actually doesn't take me too long to fix a shitty, shitty chapter, um, basically because they used to be blog posts, and then I convert I converted them for the book, and uh, I, maybe I have not spent too much time on them uh, since. So I need to identify which are those, and then uh, fix those. So tomorrow is more of a book day, I guess. Um, and then we're gonna damn site again. Work on the site tiers on Podia. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So that's uh that's T minus five in the bag. Mm, you know, not super productive, but it, you know, I'm still catching up with the value that I created over the past two months, and uh, hopefully, you know, the next five days will bring some more good news. And uh, yeah, you're seeing everything. So bye. <laughs>